So uh, some Republican officials, both former politicians and current politicians, they were caught on a hidden camera praising Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema at a private gathering. This is incredibly telling. Take a look and then we'll discuss. We have a bunch of people running around, particularly progressives, who all they want to talk about is, well, let the people's will be done. No, 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 no. We don't want the people's will to be done immediately because you have the passions of the majority that, that remember, our, our Constitution was set up to protect who? Minority rights, not the majority rights. But the reality is they are pushing as far as they can. Fortunately for us, the filibuster is still in effect in the Senate. Without that, we would be dead meat, and this thing would be, then, then we'd be having a, a little bit more frantic discussion than we're having today. But thank goodness for Cinema and, and Joe Manchin. I like it when AOC is going after Joe Manchin. Like, this, is great. this is great for me. You know, it makes my job easier as a conservative because, you know, I can go to Joe Manchin or, or, or Kirsten, uh, Cinema and be like, hey, guys, you know, and I'm really sorry you're having to go through that. That's, that's just a shame. <laughs> no, nobody should just be, nobody should be treated like this. I, I just really thank you for standing for the country. And, you know, all of you in this room, people at home on Zoom, let me tell you right now, if you want to do one thing to, to keep the republic af afloat, call Joe Manchin's office, call Chris <laughs> Cinema's office, Chris Cinema's office, be polite, smile as you talk on the phone. You know, if you talk on the phone with, with a smile, your voice sounds better. He's like, hi, I'm here to talk to Senator Joe Manchin and thank him for keeping the filibuster intact. I'm, you know, I'm just a Republican voter from, from state X, doesn't matter, but I just want to say thank you. Because what's happening up here is the fact that they've decided not to blow up in the filibuster, in a lot of respects, is going to save the Republic from the worst things that the left wants to do. And HR1 is the tip of the iceberg. So we just got to hold the line right now. Keeping the filibuster's a big part of that and all the other elements that I know y'all are discussing this week. It's a lot easier to pass giveaways than it is to take them away. Yeah. And everybody thinks, oh, well, you know, we'll just take them away. No, we won't. No, we won't. So please, if any of you have any thoughts about the idea that a filibuster removal, it was a good deal. And I know the previous president was for it and still is. It's a bad idea. Call Joe Manson and say thank you. Seriously, yeah, yeah. call Kirsten Cinema and say thank you. There it is. So I want to give credit to Undercurrent, the outlet Undercurrent, web show Undercurrent, got that video. So credit to them. Check them out. Uh, and also credit to David Dole, the Rational National. I saw this clip because David Dole covered it. So you could see it said the Rational National on the side there. I just wanted to give credit to everybody who, you know got this out there in a way where it came across my radar. I'm very happy I saw this. This is really important. By the way, there's another really interesting thing that happened with Joe Manchin. He was at a private gathering, and he basically admitted that he was begging Republicans, hey, you got to give us something somewhere. And so his idea was, guys, just hop on board with the January 6th commission, and then if we do the January 6th commission... That'll be enough to, like, pacify the Democrats and pacify the base so they feel like something really important is being done when ultimately on policy we're not really budging an inch. But at least we'll have the theater set up in a way where the Democratic base is preoccupied with that as opposed to substantive policy issues. So Joe Mesh was basically saying, like, hey, idiots, I'm on your side. This is what you need to do in order to make it so that a lot of the Biden agenda and, and a left agenda, more importantly, doesn't get passed. Give people the theater. And the way to do that is the January 6th commission because, you know, we could talk about that for the next six months as opposed to talking about $15 minimum wage or whatever the hell it is. So, in a way, he's more nefarious because he's agreeing with the Republicans, but then he's also smart enough to understand this is how we can distract people in a way that works. So, it says a lot about uh, Joe Manchin. Now, it, I mean, what's the takeaway? The takeaway is... Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema are either suckers for the Republican agenda and corporations, or, this is more likely, they know exactly what they're doing, and they want to block a real Democratic agenda, and they want to serve corporations. You know, and we talked about this when seven or eight Democrats in the Senate were against the $15 minimum wage. We went and we took a look, and I think all of them are rich, and all of them have taken a tremendous amount of money from... Um, you know, corporations and groups that are against raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour. 
So that's who they are. That's who they are. And don't tell me we can only be as progressive as Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema allow us to be when you don't have a strategy and you don't fight and you don't try to do a character stick approach to get them on board with everything you've got. You know what I mean? Because Joe Manchin is wrong when he says, I'm a West Virginia Democrat. No, you're not. West Virginia Democrats, West Virginia, all West Virginians, or excuse me, most West Virginians, it's like 70% or something, support a $15 minimum wage. They do. They want another stimulus check. They do. They're pro-union. So if Joe Manchin really reflected the values of West Virginians, he could be socially conservative, he could be pro-gun, he could be anti-abortion and things of that nature. But on economics, they have a, a strong labor history there. Strong labor history in West Virginia. And he is not pro-labor, Joe Manchin. He, he wants to support the corporate agenda and block a democratic agenda. So, I mean, they're admitting it. They're all saying it, the quiet part loud. The Republicans are all saying, God, we love Manchin and we love cinema because they're, they're the only thing, they're, they're the only things, they're the only people standing between the country and a truly decent agenda. By the way, I love, they said, uh, you know, they frame it as, oh, they're preventing the worst things from getting through. What are those things, guys? Medicare at 60 or 55. In other words, getting millions more Americans onto a single-payer system. They're preventing that. They're preventing, you know, uh, negotiating for better drug prices. Sort of lowering drug prices. They're preventing, like, family paid family leave and $15 minimum wage. They're preventing that. They're preventing that. And these guys talk about it like, oh, they're really stopping the worst parts of the agenda. You mean the best parts of the agenda that the American people love and want right now? Listen, if I'm Biden, I take this video and I play it for Mansion and Cinema. Call him in the office, play it for Mansion and Cinema. And I'll say, listen, if you guys support my agenda, if you support the $15 minimum wage, if you support paid family leave, if you're on board with, with a partisan reconciliation bill that will actually do good things, then we're not going to do anything with this tape. If you don't do it, we're going to primary you. The Democratic Party is going to primary you, and I'm going to run these ads in your home states, and the Democratic Party will do everything to fund an opponent that will beat you. That will beat you. So, we'll, I'll be your worst enemy. I will publicly embarrass you and shame you and expose you for what you are. But if you do the right thing, I'm your best friend. And you'll get another military base in West Virginia. Uh, Joe Manchin, what do you want? Kirsten Cinema for Arizona. I'm all ears. You want to help the people of Arizona? You want to make them love you? You want to deliver on something? Tell me what. And I got you. This is what you got to do. But listen, as it stands right now, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema are the saviors of elitist establishment Republicans, and they're the saviors of corporate America. Their whole job is to perpetuate the status quo. If we get change, make sure the change is only a fraction of what it can be and should be. And this is, by the way, another reason why we'll keep having elections that swing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Whereas if we had a Democratic Party that actually embraced an FDR-style agenda, Democrats would win election cycle after election cycle after election cycle because you're actually delivering for people if you do that. So shame on them. And this is how thankful the GOP is behind closed doors. They know what's going on. They know who's to blame. So we should all know who's to blame as well.